What's up, y'all? It's Noah, co-roaster and head of quality control for Public Square. And uh, I'm gonna be going over AeroPress recipes today. And with the AeroPress, we're kind of looking for um, a lot of body, um, some juiciness. Usually it's a little bit heavier than a pour over, but not quite like um, what a French press would usually be. So today we're gonna be going uh, with our blend on AeroPress. And our blend right now is an Ethiopia Sadamo and an Ethiopia Yurgachev. Um, it has a really nice uh, full body and it's kind of a crowd pleaser. So it's meant for your husband, wife, mom, dad, grandmama, everybody. So we're gonna start with 30 grams of coffee ground medium coarse. We weigh it out to the 10th of a gram. So if you have a scale that can do that, awesome. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour 10 gram or 100 grams as fast as you can. So in about 10 seconds is the goal so that we can have a really nice bloom and that we're making sure that the water is hitting every single little ground. So we're getting all of that CO2 and those gases out pretty quickly. And then in the next 10 seconds, you're gonna use the paddle to stir around the coffee about 10 to 20 times in 10 seconds. And then when you're done, put, set your paddle off to the side and you're gonna wanna wet your paper filters. So we're using two AeroPress filters because um, we think it gives a little bit cleaner body, some nicer notes, um, still gives you some of those floral notes without sacrificing too much of the body. So now we're at 40 seconds, so I'm gonna put that filter on. I'm gonna flip it, push firmly but evenly until it's all out. Should yield about 60 grams of coffee. A couple taps flip it over. And then now with this recipe, we're actually going to um, use water that's about 195 grams, but since you're at home, I'd recommend the hottest you can do. So 205, 20, 210 is what I'd say for this. And once you've done all that, you're gonna add 110 grams of just regular water into the coffee you've just made. It's gonna help dilute it, help uh, bring out some of those juicy notes. Um, and the water you can actually add to taste. So if you prefer adding 100 grams or 90 grams, go for it. This is all up to you. So 110, 120, it's all up to you. It's your cup. So then we're gonna pour it into another glass kind of high so that we uh, cool it down a little bit. We want it about 145 degrees when we drink it. I'm gonna pour a little bit in. Delicious.